Hello everybody, I am Munir Ahmed and I am happy today to present my first paper in internet, famous international conference on cloud management and green development. I am uh, presenting my research on title Social Economic Determinant of National Saving in Pakistan. Uh, my presentation consists on following five steps. First of all, I will introduce my topic, then some theoretical framework will be present, and after this material and method and four step um, empirical model and outcome will discuss. Uh, in the end, I will conclude my topic. Saving is uh, uh, the most important and good habit that a nation can nation can do for its financial welfare. All the economies of the world have a healthy saving rate. Uh, a new capital inject works like a fuel for for any fast growing economy and in form of investment. Saving are essential for the betterment of any. According to Keynesian works, whatever a nation saves is then invested. The new capital indirectly depends upon the national saving. The major economies of the world, like the United States of America, Japan, and China, are the top savers. Uh, this uh, topic is also based on the Harold Omar theory, which emphasizes the importance of the saving level and capital out of creation in the economic growth. Saving also impacts uh, on productivity, consumption, and uh, uh, income distribution. Pakistan, this, uh, basically, Pakistan is a low saver country. In the, in the history of Pakistan, the highest national saving rate is 21.4 percent. In long run, low level of saving rate has been possibly possible to build the economy move in the vicious cycle, circle of the low investment, low growth, then low productivity, and ultimately low per capita income. On the other hand, high saving rate can boost up by the high capital, high investment, high productivity, and high growth rate. Saving lead to economic growth and it has noticeable effect on the economic growth. Also, high savings have, savings have to capital growth. Pakistan economy also has regular budget deficit throughout its history. It has low saving rate regularly during the 1970s and 80s was fairly rare. In the decade of 1970s, every saving was counted 9.44% to the GDP. The, the current study has the uh, objective, the main objective to identify the magnitude of the national saving during the different say the, uh, different time period to examine the impact of social economic factor on national saving in Pakistan. Uh, the, the theoretical framework of national saving can be divided into private and public sector, including household and corporate. Saving. Public sector savings are, are collected by the government and enterprise. Personal savings, after when spending is under income and funds, can be used for social costs to move the financial market. This is the component of saving. Uh, national saving can be divided into two sectors domestic saving, foreign, and foreign saving. The domestic uh, savings further can be divided into two. Two sectors, public saving and private saving, or uh, and uh, in the end, private saving can also be divided into household saving and corporate saving. <clears throat> if we talk about uh, the uh, four sector economy, then we know why income is equal to consumption, investment, and government expenditure, and in the end, the net export. If we solve for national saving, we uh, we know in equation number two why minus c why y minus c minus government expenditure and minus net export that is equal to investment and investment 
and always equal to same. This uh, public saving comprises on government revenue minus government expenditure. Taxes. Yeah, taxes are the amount which is paid by the people to the government. We, we use uh, time series data set for the interval of 1973 to 2018. Uh, the information uh, data was gathered it was obtained from many sources, including world government indicators, international financial statistics, the state, state when of, of Pakistan, the uh, 2015 handbook of statistics review, and several issues of Pakistan economic survey. Uh, the dependent variable in the, this study was national saving, that is. Uh, in the that was used in both of the models, GDP GDP is one of the independent variable in the, in uh, used in included in the economic model. That is summation of summation of market value of all goods and services from the economy economy. Uh, second variable budget asset, which is the total revenue, government revenue minus total expenditure. And other variable, government current expenditure was represented by, by, by the variable, uh, proxy variable, general government final consumption expenditure. It was also used in economic model. The interest rate imposed by the uh, banks on their loan is all uh, is called interest rate. It was used in the economic model. The cost of living is in Turn as inflation rate. Inflation is represented by the proxy variable coming the price in that. So second model, a dependency uh, that is uh, a social model, a dependency ratio, government size, urban and rural population was included. A dependency variable is, uh, is a demographic, demographic variable. It is the ratio of the number of dependents have age internal interval below than 15 years to older than 64 to the working age people. The second uh, variable is social model is government size. It is so to measure is numerical form. It is tough. So we use the proxy to calculate the government size and the ratio of government spending to GDP. This is the economic model that is uh, uh, a significant variable uh, that has an effect on national saving is addressed in economic model. It comprises the following metrics, gross domestic product, 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 but deficit, interest rate, government current expenditure, inflation rate, and versus remittance rate. Uh, and this one is the second model that is social model of the national saving, social determinant, to previous literature, it was found though that it is a very important to discuss the impact social factors on national saving in Pakistan. So we analyze some social factors such as government size, demographic variable dependent ratio, and rural and urban population. First of all, we uh, use ADF to check the, uh, the stationarity of the data. Uh, we use augmented particular test. On the basis of this uh, this test, uh, we apply R A R D L model that uh, is uh, uh, which is uh, used after the uh, result of augmented particular test. This is the result of uh, auto auto uh, auto distribution lag model. Uh, GDP current government current expenditure versus remittances, inflation, and interest rate have significant impact on the national saving in Pakistan. Austria was at six percent, uh, which is indication of the state of the model. Uh, GDP in long long lag value of the GDP GCE or uh, worker remittances have direct relationship with the dependent variable. National saving with option of 0.2 to 9.316 uh, 
for 0, 8, 5, and 1, 3, 7, 3, respectively. The values of significant are 1%, percent percent and 10 percent are not significant. Uh, this is a short run economic model uh, according to the results that show that short term uh, relationship of the work of the recession, fiscal deficit, uh, interest rate, interest rate, uh, GDP, and government current activity. After the second relationship with the tax of savings, with uh, the third position. The rate of interest from insignificant is more short and long run. Many previous studies are also supported to the return. The ECM uh, lecture one was for lecture point six one uh, is uh, statistical, uh, statistically significant. This portion value show that our adjustment process is for fast means one percent with a we adjust this as compared to the last year. This is our second uh, model that is social model uh, results of the Social auto depressive distributed lab model are presented. In the uh, long run, uh, they are under this approach, uh, rural population, urban population, and a dependency ratio and normal size after it is significant. Uh, uh, and this is the uh, very uh, uh, short run social model, uh, which is a uh, uh, which which tells uh, the short run relationship of urban population and government size are significant relationship with the national saving with option point three seven four and point eight three five four significant and one percent and five percent. The ECM error correction mechanism was one five that is negative and splits the significant description very show that uh, it means for 54 percent that we are just this as compared to last year. In that, in this study, would determine the social economic determinant that much of national saving in Pakistan, as indicated earlier. Pakistan is low level of low level of saving country because it has consumption looking population. We applied ARDL for long run and ECEM. And the detection model mechanism for short run dynamic and speed of adjustment of productivity. According to our results, gross domestic production versus remittances, government size, and economic current expenditure have positive impact on national saving, the dependency, dependent variable, fiscal deficit, inflation, urban and rural population, and interest rate have negative impact on national saving on Pakistan. On the basis of our finding, it is suggested that GDP should increase due to foreign inflow. It can be boosted up in the economy, but it can be can play an important role in this regard. Budget deficit, government current expenditure are negatively impact on national savings. So government should cut down their non-productive expenditure. New jobs opportunities must be cut. We, uh, must be created because of this uh, urbanization could be controlled. The trend of dependence must be minimized. The technical education should be uh, given importance. People should be convinced to get technical education for productive, productive activities while continuing their basic routine to be at their own daily basis expenses. For this concern, authorities must have the workshop highlighted the issue. That's all so from my side. Thank you very much.